Okay, with this video, we're going to briefly discuss uh, the differences between the uh, Power Plasma 50 and the Supercut 50. The one on the left, the larger unit, is the IGBT Power Plasma 50, and the MOSFET unit is the uh, Supercut 50 on the right. As you can see, and perhaps not, but as far as uh, quality of finish goes on them, both are excellent as far as the uh, fit and finish. Uh, there are some differences in the units, and we'll discuss that briefly. IGBT modules over the uh, MOSFET. The MOSFET uh, chips that we use are the uh, Toshiba. Now, there's, there's a couple of different Toshiba th chips out there. They're the ones that are built in Japan and the ones that are made in uh, Korea. Our manufacturer insists that we have to have the Japanese ones, uh, the uh, Korean Toshiba chips are, well, he tells us they're, they're, they're not quite up to standards uh, as far as that goes, although they are both uh, Toshiba, so I'm really not sure whether you can take that as being gospel or not. Um, I don't have enough experience between the two to uh, really make a comment on it. The Supercut 50 is a HF contact, so it's a HF start. Uh, this type is typically found in, you know, in, in a more budget machine. It uses a high frequency, high voltage spark to ionize the air through the torch head to initiate the arc. Uh, this requires the torch to uh, be in contact with the material. Now, the Power Plasma 50 uses a two cycle approach. To produce the uh, in producing the arc, and this avoids the uh, need to contact the material. Um, first of all, like uh, a high voltage, low current circuit is used to initialize a very small, high intensity spark within the torch body, and this generates a small pocket of plasma gas, and well, this is referred to as the pilot arc. This uh, the, the the arc maintains itself until it is brought into contact uh, or into the proximity of the material that's going to be cut and then it ignites the main plasma cutting arc. Uh, the MOSFETs were initially used uh, on most of these plasma cutters but more and more now the IGBTs are being used because uh, MOSFET chips if you have uh, one slow in uh, switching it can cause cascading like a, a failure, a cascading failure on the whole bank uh, because they they need to all work in unison because they can't handle the power and the amperage uh, by themselves. IGBTs are much more robust and they can they, they, they tend to be able to handle this much easier. Again we have our pressure gauge on the front on the Supercut 50. The regulator and filter would be installed on the back so you would have to adjust it from the back uh, for your air pressure. On the Power Plasma 50, we have the regulator just below our pressure gauge, and you can see it all in there. We have a pre-timed flow on the Supercut, and here we have the uh, automatic uh, post flow. What that will do is it will give you five seconds of uh, a flow after you've finished uh, cutting. That will help cool the uh, torch head. We have a manual post flow on it, and basically that actually can be used just to sort of set your gauge and that's about all that's really good for and then you have your uh, amperage control right here your digital readout here and again it's a up to a 50 amp on our power plasma 50 we have a time flow uh, basically the same as what we've got on this one here uh, but we also have a, uh, a constant flow. We have a manual torch and we have a CNC track torch. We'll get into that in the next video to show exactly how that works. Here we have a post flow. This one's adjustable. We don't just have it set at five seconds or two and a half seconds like some. This one here, we can run it up. If you're doing something really, really heavy, some heavy material, you want to have a lot of air going through that torch after the cut is done to cool it down as quickly as possible. This prevents any damage to the torch head. It also prevents uh, your consumables from wearing out uh, too quickly. So here we can adjust it from five seconds to 60 seconds. The uh, HF start, again. You can initialize the arc 
normally if you are, oh, I would say within about 3.30 seconds, you basically have to be right on the material to get a, uh, to initiate, initiate uh, the, the arc. And you can't put a standoff on it. With the Power Plasma 50, it's, it's a different torch entirely. Here, and we'll show this in the next video, the uh, starting, but uh, we can use a standoff on it as a guide. Uh, you can use it with or without. I prefer to use it with it. And again, because it's a pilot arc, we don't need to worry about uh, having it in close proximity or touching to uh, initiate the arc. Um, and again, we'll show that uh, when we run the machines.